Okay, that's great. Hello, Natasha. Hello, Oleg. And приятного аппетита. Спасибо. Я, короче, на диете. I'm I'm not eating uh, too many things, so I just have vegetables, and whenever I'm hungry, I have to eat. It's fine. You are born in Moldova, in the north. Um, yes, uh, no, I was born in, uh, actually, I was born in Ukraine. Okay. Uh, I was living there till the age of 10. Mm -hmm. uh, when, uh, then my mom passed away. Actually, she was murdered by my stepfather. Mm -hmm. And uh, my grandmother at that time was living in uh, Brichanach. Uh -huh. So your grandmother is Moldovan or Russian uh, or no, Ukrainian? Uh, <laughs> she she has actually got married there. Uh -huh. um, so um, maybe when I was about like eight or nine, she got married and uh -huh. she's going to live uh, in Moldova. And we were living in Ukraine. And when my mom passed away, um, my grandmother has to take me, uh -huh. me and my sister. I have a younger sister. And uh, from the time we were living in Moldova. And, and now you are at the end of the world in Sri Lanka, <laughs> <laughs> near the Equatorium. Oh, How yes. Far is it? Um, actually, Five I think it's a very story. It's a very, very, very um, sad story. Mm. Mm, life didn't take me. Living with my grandmother was one thing living with my grandmother's husband it was not a very good thing uh -huh. mm, he was a person who you know like you know when we lost our parents we used to get a pension mm -hmm. from the government yeah. because we are uh, without parents and um, whenever we get that uh, now when we were small we didn't pay much attention to it but when i was like um you know, 12, 13, uh, also like to dress nice and, you know, if you remember Puma, Puma sports costume, we all liked that so much. And um, when I used to ask my grandmother, my grandmother said she doesn't have money. All the money is with the grandfather. So um, when you ask him, uh, it's, I don't know, it's embarrassing to say that, but he used to say, um, if you let me touch you, I will go and buy. Wow. So, so um, Alec, it, I, it I have to tell you one thing. It happened 20 years ago or how, how long? It was, now I'm 41. Now I'm 22 years living in Sri Lanka. Probably it was what, when I was um, 13, 12, 12, mm -hmm. 13. So, yeah. It was like that. More than 25 and, years ago. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, as a foolishness, yeah, I, I love him to touch me because I really wanted that denim uh, uh, jacket or Puma costume. Um, it was, it was, you know, when we were growing up, I thought it was normal. And you decided to leave the country? To no, leave no, no, family? no, 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 no. It was not like that. I started running away from home. Mm -hmm. They were, put me to the police. Um, they actually, that grandfather had a very well-known um, judge, uh, social services, who were known to him. So I've been put um, uh, in Kishinev um, for underage children. When you are badly behaving, there was a place like that. I can't remember what it's called. In so Vietnam I was there for three months. Yeah. After, after that, they put me to uh, internet. Mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, there, then I ran away from there. Mm -hmm. And um, I got married. At the age of 18? 16. 18. 16. 16. 16. How was it possible? Um, he was, uh, I think, 24, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Then we had a son. He was drinking. 
I was only 16. I didn't know how to cook and how to do anything, how to look after the child, no support from anybody. And I got an offer from uh, Jehovah Witnesses, you know, people yeah. like that. Yeah, a church. But, yes. Uh, one of the women from our village, she was the, uh, going to that church and she gave me an offer to go to Turkey. Hmm. So you was married in Moldova as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, I went to Turkey. I had a son and hmm. then I went to Turkey to do what everybody does. It's prostitution. I'm not going to lie. There is no point of lying that. Okay. I knew on what, for what I was going, but now when I'm grown up, I'm thinking Jehovah Witness, who believes in God and Jesus, and she the one who offered me that job. <laughs> when I went there, they have sold me to someone else. I don't, I didn't even know that it, even if it's possible. I thought it happens only in the movies. Then I have to work my life for about one year to pay that person back. And what about your then child? I, your my son? child was left with my grandmother. In Moldova, in Britain. Yes. Mm -hmm. da. After that, uh, it was uh, it was it was very hard. I got deported from Turkey. I came back with no money, no clothes, nothing. To Moldova. And uh, yes, mm -hmm. uh, when I came to Kishinev, um, the person who sold me once. He meets him. He was there at the bus stand. I think someone has told him that I'm got deported and I'm coming back. And from there, he taken me. Don't worry, everything will be okay. We'll send the money for you. I said I don't want anything. I just want some money for my child. Do with me whatever you want. My child has to have money because they are having very difficult time. But um, he said he will do it, and he sold me back to another person to Sri Lanka. It's, I'm telling you, just in a very fast, in a whatever, but we will talk one, some, one more and I will tell everything in a detail. Um, of course, when we came to Sri Lanka, it was not Turkey. It was, um, we say, being a prostitute in Sri Lanka is much better than anywhere else. <laughs> wow. I'll, I have to tell you that. Mm -hmm. um, even though men buying a woman, it's... Um, not like buying uh, uh, a thing, uh, clothes or drink. Mm -hmm. It's like um, they actually respect you. Mm. I have to give them that. And uh, we was working here again. We have to, not only me, there was three or four girls with me. And when we were go flying in a flight, we didn't even know where the hell we are going. Girls from Moldova. Yes, from mm -hmm. Moldova we went to um, Bulgaria. From Bulgaria we traveled to Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. And when people in the plane they ask us where you going for what you going, and we were like looking like fools. We don't know English. We uh, those people doesn't speak Russian. Um, it was confusing. And all the men who was traveling with us just shut up and wait, shut up and wait. That's all. It was like nine hours flight. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. But then we came here. We, there was a Sri Lankan family with whom we stayed. And they were like our bosses. And uh, it it was okay. But that time there was a war in Sri Lanka. So it was a little bit difficult. But still lots of lots of rich people are here. As anywhere. They are rich and yes. poor people. <laughs> And after some time, of course, I met my husband. And uh, he also was three, very, very young. He married and with the other yes. children. <laughs> I have three beautiful children and I have a granddaughter also. <laughs> and what about the son born in Moldova? The son, I have contacted him and he uh, was talking to me and... Uh, the, I don't know, maybe it's the age. I, of course, there is no way I can be angry with him or upset or anything. There will become a time that he'll come back to me. That's all. Mm -hmm. um, I apologize because um, I know my mistakes I've done. And um, I can't explain to him because how can I tell him I was being a prostitute 
because I thought I can give you a better life, but it didn't work. So he was grown up by the same grandparents as you? Yes, he was brought up by actually mostly my sister mm -hmm. because my grandmother passed away. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, when my grandma, when I, after I got married in Moldova, my, my grandmother was uh, actually we told her, me and my sister, we both told what her husband did to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, she didn't go anywhere, but she just left him. Mm -hmm. And uh, she gone back, uh, she bought a house and stayed separately from him. Mm -hmm. And there was um, uh, uh, my sister, my sister, the one who looked after my, my son and his father. His father after that got married again and uh, he after that taken him. Hmm. How interesting, like in movies, <laughs> like in telenovelas. Sorry? This history, life history is like in movies, you, you can't believe it, it's real. Um, um, it's more than that. Um, it's, um, you know, when you grow up more, becoming more older, you realize that touching a child, it's wrong. It's not normal. It's not in every family like that. It's criminal. I didn't know that illegal, at yeah. that time. Uh, and um, uh, like my grandmother also... Uh, she didn't pay much attention for us because uh, my mom was only child for her. There was no more children. And when my mother been murdered so brutally in front of me, I saw everything. I saw how he cut her throat. I saw everything. I'll never forget that. And um, I think our lives were messed up from the beginning. When my grandmother taken us, if she would have taken us to psychologist or maybe to someone to talk to us, Maybe my life and my sister's life would have been better. Did the police investigate these cases of uh, human trafficking or uh, that behavior of your grandfather? No, no. Or the it situation was, with uh, your mother? It was impossible. It was, it was not just Moldovan people. It was Armenian and Moldovan people mixed together. Mm -hmm. So there, I, I even was scared to go to the police because there were like, I don't know, it was very difficult. They treated us very badly. But when we came to Sri Lanka, now I got married. There was another girl who is married, who was with me. She also got married. Um, and the other girl, she, has, she got a boyfriend from Sri Lanka who taken her to Australia. So um, I think three of us were kind of lucky. Mm -hmm. Do but you still have it is, linked 